Hello, welcome to Two Minute Tools. And in today's video, we're going to look at how to set up global options in your app for wanting this two minute tool will last longer than two minutes. So what do I mean by global options? Let's take a look at the app and see what I mean. So I'm going to log out of the app. So if you notice a couple things on the app, you'll see that it says, hello, comma, this has a bean next to it, and it says bean balance. Um, but what if I'm making an app and want to be able to change this bean balance or this icon or this greeting anytime I want to? Uh, that's where global options come in. Let me show you how that can be changed. I have this record for global options. I'm going to take this, and I'm just going to copy it here. And I'm going to hit save. And then I'm gonna go back to my app and let's say someone clicks scan and then they go back to the home page. If you notice the greeting is changed and this could be changed for all of your logged in users. Instead of being balanced, you know, I think I would rather count cupcakes. I'm gonna click save. And as soon as the user navigates back to the home screen, it'll automatically be updated with cupcakes now. Let me show you how I do that. First, I create a collection in my collections called global options. Typically, you would just have one record, but for testing purposes and wanting to go back and forth, I created two records, but really you want to have just one record. And what you want to do is when a new user signs up, you want to assign that global option to them with a relationship. Let me zoom in and show you how I've done that. So I did a custom sign up form here instead of the Adalo form. If you need to know how to do a custom form, check out another two minute tool for how to do that. But in this sign up button, I created this as a custom list. And I did all the global options where the ID is equal to one. That way it'll only pull this global option every time that I use it. And once I click down on the button, I sign up the user. And then what I need to do is update the logged in user. And I'm gonna create a relationship to this logged in user with the current global option. And so when I do that, I can then click done and then make sure and link that to the home screen. And let's take a look at the home screen. So if you'll notice, I have the global option home greeting. Well, how did I get that? Well, to get that, what you can do so you use magic text and you use the logged in user. And remember, this global option is set up in a way where only the logged in user can only have one global option, which then allows you to be able to pull the information from that global option. And so I selected home greeting, and then I'll do the logged in user's full name just to make it more personable. And then I can go and do this throughout the entire app. I can then go back to the logged in user select the global option and then what's the re and click the rewards name and now i can have the rewards name in there as well and so again that's done because when you create a relationship to the user you do one global option many users and on the user side that looks like many users but one global option and if you do that, then you'll be able to pull that from anywhere that you want to. I have the bean balance here. And then I can also say, um, what is this, the, my user balance? I can also pull in images. So this is the logged in user, the global option, the reward logo URL. And that's just a nice way, especially if you're going to be building this app to send it out to people, that you can make it go really, really quickly. But it is key to have the users sign up and then make that connection to the global option. And then from there, you can change the global option at any time. And as soon as the user navigates back to that page where the magic text is, that'll be updated. No need to push new builds or uh, publish new versions to the app stores. Hopefully that's helpful.